good morning welcome back to my channel i hope you're well i hope you're having a lovely um day so far if you're watching in the morning good morning i am just getting ready well i'm ready actually i lie i'm ready i'm just brushing my hair because i washed it last night and blow dried it but i just need to brush it through so i love this brush this is a denman brush i remember my nan used to have one of these when i was little and i always used to use it on my hair when i was younger so yeah love that brush anyway anyway where am i i hope you're well i'm just putting some oil in my hair i'm using this one this is the l'oreal absolute repair oil love this stuff it's so nice i had my nails done yesterday i don't think i've shown you them yet hold on i went for brown a bit more of like a neutral colour. I felt like I really needed like a solid colour on my nails for a change. So I went for brown. I did like a poll yesterday on Instagram to ask you what you thought. Whether I should go for red, pink or brown. I'm always, I always go for like red or pinks usually. I'm kind of like a girly girl. I like to have those vibrant colours. But I feel like that's more when we get a little bit more into spring summer i feel like i'm gonna do the reds and pinks again so yeah i thought we, whilst it's still wintry we could go with like more of a darker neutral shade so like earthy tones i feel like earthy tones are in this year when it comes to nail trends so i went for brown and i really like them so yeah i got this top as well yesterday it's from primark i just got it in like a large you know i love an oversized sweatshirt and it was 16 pounds so i really liked that i thought i'd just show you what else i got I also got some mum shorts in Primark yesterday. They've got loads of mum shorts in now. And these are a really good dupe for the Zara mum shorts because I actually ordered some from Zara the other day. They had a sale and I thought, oh, perfect opportunity to kind of try them, see what I thought of them. I ordered them in a couple of different sizes. The 16 were too big, the 14 were too tight. So I was just like, can't really keep them there's no point keeping them so i sent those back and then when i went into primark yesterday they had mum shorts in there and they've got them in all sorts of different colors these are literally exactly like the ones that i ordered from zara um and how much are these ones 11 pounds what a bargain so i got myself a pair of black ones they're like high-waisted and they like hold you in quite well as well so i'm happy with those i'm not really a shorts person but i like to have options so in the summer if i want to wear a pair of shorts and i've got a nice pair of black denim mum shorts very classic i also went into new look actually and i got myself some tory jeans i'll put a picture up so you can see what they look like on because i did take a photo yesterday for my real thumbnail and um, but anyway these again are just a pair of black jeans they're kind of like a what are these what is this style more of like a mum style jean because i've got loads of black skinny jeans but i don't have any that i've got like a bit of a looser fit on the leg so i've been wearing my tory jeans my ripped blue ones quite a lot recently so i thought oh i'll get a black pair just so i've got like a more of a comfortable pair you know you just want to chuck on like a like a shorter sweatshirt tuck it in wear your jeans whatever so i thought i'd get them so i went in there yesterday and i've done this before with the tory jeans i've gone in to try them on because it's really important to try them on because every pair i try on in the tory jeans like if they're different colors they all fit differently i don't know why they do that it's so annoying because i can't just like order them all online i've got to go in store and try them on so i tried on the black pair and i also picked up like a dot a lighter denim pair that didn't have any rips because my current one have got rips in and i just wanted like a classic pair so i tried those ones on in a 14 and they were they literally didn't even do up i was like what the hell so i was like well these are not gonna fit either but i tried these on and they just fit like a glove like perfect so i don't know why they do that it's so strange if you've bought the tory jeans let me know if you've had the same kind of situation because that's happened to me before when i've gone in to try them on and i've tried them on in different sizes and they're just not fit properly so i just didn't bother buying them i really did want this black pair so i've gone with the black pair and i really like them so yeah that's what i bought yesterday when i was on my little girly morning having my nails done i do like having that morning when i have my nails done actually this year i wanted to kind of do a little bit more for me and i just have that little bit of pamper time each like month so i get my nails done every three weeks these are the what are they called now builder gel they just go over the top really good so my nails are actually this long they don't look that long because i've just had them filed down obviously but they are quite long for me like i can't keep them this long if i haven't got builder gel on them so yeah i'm really happy with them now that i have my nails done i just feel like i'm always i'm always like this anyway when i talk i don't know what it is but i'm always in my hands sorry anyway i wanted to show you another item that i got the other day this is a viral bag that everyone has got on tiktok and instagram i'll leave you a minute just so you can kind of write it down if you think you know what it is so just have a little think what do you think this bag is that everyone's got in multiple colors yeah it's a uniqlo bag uniqlo uniqlo bag it's basically like a 
crossbody, like a bum bag, crossbody bag. Hold on. I have got it in black, but I've only got the two colours here. The other two colours I got, um, because the black one is downstairs. I can't find it. So, yeah, anyway. It's basically a bag like this. I might remember in the summer, actually, I bought a black bag, very similar shape to this from TK Maxx, but it was like a like a woven rattani type bag in black. I wore it to death in the summer. Absolutely loved it and I loved the shape of it because you can wear it across body. I got everything I needed in there. I could fit my camera in there, my purse, you know, all the essentials. And then uh, probably, well, I think this year or well, last year, actually, I started seeing people buy this and I was like, oh my God, looks perfect. And I just kept putting it off, didn't bother buying it because I thought in the winter I didn't really need a bag, but in the summer I feel like I need these more. And I got it in this pink colour, which I think is a newer colour actually. And I also went for this more like tanny colour, like camel colour. And I got it in black. They do green. I feel like I need to get the green one next. They're only 14 99 And they're so good. They hold so much. You can obviously wear it crossbody, which is just so nice and easy when you're going out. Like I just, I just love it. Such a nice bag. And like I said, it holds so much as well. Like this holds so much. I haven't actually got much in here at the minute because I haven't like transferred all my other bits from my main bag into here yet, which I'm going to do. I've literally got my purse in here. I've just got my little like card purse and a bag uh, just in case I needed a bag for when I went shopping. I just fold them up like this because they're just so much easier to kind of store. So I pop that in there anyway, pop that in there. But literally you could put so many things in here. Like I'll just keep going. Look, you can literally put so much stuff in here. Yada yada, hairbrush, phone, um, and there's still still loads of room in there. Honestly, there's so much room. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that bag purchase, and I want to get the other colours because, I mean, I need to basically get rid of all my bags because I don't actually use half of them anymore, and I need to find somewhere where I can store them all nicely because those ones are. They're really soft, so you can kind of just lay them down in a drawer, probably. So I need to sort out my drawer. Probably this last cupboard here, I've got some drawers at the bottom, which don't really have anything that I use in them. So I'm going to sort all of that out and then just put my bags in there so I've got them all nice and neat. Because I like to colour coordinate things when I go out, and I feel like that would be really good. Like, those bags are perfect for that. And they're also really cheap, 14 99 bargain. So if you're looking for a new bag, that's really easy. It's literally like a Mary Poppins bag. You can get so much stuff in it. Even if you've got like a toddler, you can definitely get like a whole pack of baby wipes in there. You can get a nappy in there. You can get some snacks in there and your purse and all of that kind of stuff. So definitely recommend that. But yeah, anyway, this morning we need to go to, um, what's it called now? I don't know what it would be called, like a builder's merchants. We're going to Howden's because we're going to order some bits for the stairs, which I'm gonna to talk to you about after we've ordered. I'm gonna go order the bits and then I'm gonna to talk to you about the stairs. And not an issue, maybe like a mistake that we've made so far in this renovation of this house. I feel like this is our first big mistake. So let me go order the bits and then I'll come back and tell you all about it. So I just go by the thing, eh? Well, it goes on I here. Like an MDF. Is it quite good? Oh, that's not the moment. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. What's this one? Ah, oh, that's good, isn't it? It's good for you little shorties, isn't it? <laughs> that is well swish. Well, I don't know what you're looking at. It's more space, actually. You've you got those. three levels. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can lift them up and move them up. Like so oh. you can change the heights. Oh, right. You can yeah. change the heights of them, yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's quite good. Definitely want one of those when we do our kitchen. <laughs> Another one of them. These are great. They are good because you can get in the back, can't you? Then. Yeah, because the one at the minute we can't get. I can never find anything at the back. Get in there, really. You have, but it's awkward because the door doesn't open properly, does it? That's oh, I liked this. I used to use this for cleaning products in our utility when we had one of these. Oh, yeah, but I think it's more for like spices and stuff, isn't it? A spice rack. So those ones are very similar to our house. Yeah, we definitely look pretty. Bristol red. For the garden wall, yeah? Yeah, we're thinking of doing a garden wall, aren't we? So, I don't know. I like those, though. Do you know what happened with them? They get really dirty. Yeah, they would. Wouldn't they? Or just a little... Oh, this is quite nice. Just for, so it's a bit softer. This is you, look. Buff. <laughs> Funny Even man. Buff. This is you. Antique. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I'm not that old, actually. <laughs> 
Some I like yellow. that for the back wall. I feel like that's a bit softer. I don't think Do you're you? gonna like that. Really? Because you don't want it. It's grey now. It was grey before. You don't oh want yeah, it that's like true. These are like soft right. though. The best one is always the first one. You pick the rest, the first one. That one. Well, that matches the house. But... Yeah, battle on them. What about this nice gold one? Houses. Like that. I quite like the um, worktop actually, it's quite nice. Quartz, yeah? Yeah. Let's see what shape door you like. Mm -hmm. Out, of all Out of all these doors, which what one do you like the shape like... of? We'll make a quick decision here. Yeah. I'm going to go for. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the same actually. Yes. Because it's got like. You can't see the lines are there. It. Although I would prefer it if this is a bit thicker. Oh. Can't win they completely. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I would have said the same. Yep. Yeah. So many colours. Wowzers. Can't wait to pick kitchens. Oh, you're going to be there for months. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's going to take forever to choose. Oh, different ones here. So that's push to turn it onto boiling. Push, push. Oh, push, push. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, right. Wow, look at that. Quite loud, isn't it? Well, it's boiling more, I suppose, isn't it? Mm, and then what else have you got on there? Wow. So complicated, though, isn't it? What do you think? Chilled, push, wait, turn. So push, wait, no, push, wait, turn. Is that cold? Yeah, chilled. Oh. Wow, that is so clever. What do you think about that? I would need this next, that, that, need yeah. this next to me because I wouldn't remember. 100 degrees. Um. Oh. And then it's boiling. Oh. Oh, yeah. clever. It's very loud though. Are they meant to be loud? And then chilled water. Push. Push. Wait. wait so you keep it down. Push. push wait. wait. Turn. Really cold. Like ice cold though. Well, that's cool, that isn't it? And then sparkling water. Push. Turn. Look oh. at that. That's good, isn't it? Is it though? I like this is though. Really? That is, I want one of these where they have like the hose on the end. Jeez, that's so cool. Because that's like good for like cleaning in the What's sinks. This? Open the sink. What do I know? Oh, soap. Soap? What are you on about? Is it a soap dispenser? I don't know what that is. But that's, that's so clever. Yeah, we did have those yeah. in the utility room, those knobs. Oh, that was a lovely room, that utility room. Wood is I like the wood interior. Really nice. Really nice. Oh. This is nice. You like that, baby? Very summer, eh? soft. Summer's in now. Summer's here. We're in next now. Just looking at what's new in. Haven't been in here for a little while. Stripes. Shirts. There's so many shirts in here. They had this exact bag in Primark yesterday for like £28. Oh my god. Right, so this is £28 in here and they had the exact one in Primark yesterday, if not a bit bigger actually, for like £10 I think. Mm. Little dupe there, Primark dupe. Sorry. I know they don't stock the exact one, but this is the coat. This is the same version of I my coat that I always wear, yeah. I got it for Crimbo, didn't I? Had it for years now. It'll be like three years, isn't it? I think I'm due an upgrade actually, like a new <laughs> colour. It's like the pink. Pink's quite nice. Pink is black. So I know. Oh, look, guys, I just found me a mark, a statue of us. <laughs> Funny, like, course, we should it? get that look. It's like me and you dancing. Okay, and there's like the boys. <laughs> they haven't got long tails like that. Have they? Maybe they're moomins. Yeah, funny. Moomins, I never watched the moomins. I don't really know about that. They're like white hippos, aren't they? Yeah. Well, this is nice little desk tidy. Like that. Put your watch on there, look. Like that. Keys. Bits and bobs, isn't it? I like this colour. This wood. I need to get a basket for the boys' toys in the bathroom. So I was coming in just to have a quick look to see if they had anything in here. 
quite cute, isn't it? Crabs. Little crab. I don't know where I'd put that though, but that would be cute because it's like a bit like for the kids. I said I was looking for a basket that I can put in the bathroom for like bath toys and things. And I like this one. This is what I was looking for. Something that was like narrow that I can fit behind the bath. I'll show you in a second where I'm going to put it. So I um, found this one in Next and it was, I think, £16. But it's perfect for what I want it for. So I'm really happy with that. And as you can see, it just fits perfectly behind the bath there. The basket is like narrow enough that you can kind of keep it up on the side as well so if you wanted to put things in it you can even put a nice plant in here that would be quite nice you know like a window basket but yeah I'm going to use this for the toys so I'm really pleased with that. I'm just going to make sure there's no water in them and then I'm going to put them in the new basket. Okay, so I need to get some more toys actually, but these are just a few of the new ones that Orlando got for his birthday. I got rid of a few of the older ones because they were getting a bit grubby. So I've got some little Finding Nemo toys in there and as you can see, they fit perfectly. They look nice there, but it just looks a little bit too busy. So I'm just gonna pop it under here, behind the bath. You'll never know. You would literally never know now. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Right, it's time to talk about the mistake that we have made whilst doing our stair renovation, hallway, landing, makeover. This is what the stairs currently look like. Ignore that bit, we still need to finish that bit. We're gonna have that bit boxed in. But anyway, love the stairs. That is not my regret. I absolutely love them so much. And these were such a massive saving because I did originally, when we moved in here, have a quote from um, Neville Johnson and it was thousands absolute thousands to get this exact look that I wanted and um, when I actually called them up uh, early last year or mid last year they said that the prices had gone up even more so I think they quoted like £12,000 to replace our stair banister and all of that a lot of money like crazy amount of money and we bought this um, area here I think for around eight or nine hundred pounds from Howden's. They're actually new in the Howden's catalogue, so if you have a look through it, I think that's around how much it cost. Anyway, my main regret here is not continuing it all the way around, but there is a but. So the reason why we obviously did this was because we wanted to do this and we were gonna decorate this and do some panelling. And after just thinking about it a little bit longer, the reason why we did this so early and just kind of got it done was because we were doing the bathroom and we needed to take the stair bit down that we had made to get the bath up the stairs anyway. So we thought, right, whilst we're doing that, we'll just get this bit of the stairs done and then it will look all lovely and you know, all of that kind of stuff. And then it wasn't until after the bathroom was done that we thought, hmm, maybe we should have actually done this because we knew the price of this wasn't going to be as high as we thought it was we thought actually in hindsight we should have just done the whole lot and been done in one session so that's our regret and that's what we've been ordering today so we've ordered new spindles new banister handrail all of that kind of stuff um but the problem we've got is of course what have we just had done new carpet we're gonna have to replace the carpet just in this um landing area because I don't think that this carpet's gonna go, I think the base rail bit is gonna be thinner than what's currently here. I think this could be like boxed in. I'm not really sure. There might be something underneath this, but we're not sure. So basically we're going to remove all of this and have it the same as that and then redecorate and paint everywhere. And then we can get new doors. Once the new doors are in, that's just gonna feel so much nicer when we've got new doors. Then we can obviously do like a nice light in here and just really freshen up the area. But, um, Mark's up there cleaning the windows. All right? You okay? See any smears on it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, all down here. You've asked me the orange one, this isn't that great. Well, it's all just down here. Milan and Gigi are watching Mark clean the windows, aren't you? Looking like a vintage window. I'll have a look in a sec. Are you watching? What's he doing? So anyway, this is what we're going to be changing in a few weeks time. So we'll just have to wait and see as and when it gets done to how it all comes together because we're not really sure how it's going to come together yet. So hopefully it will all look lovely. And then once that's done, I just feel like it's going to really open up this space a lot more. And I absolutely love 
the one we've got down here i think it looks so good so i feel like it following that all the way around is going to look really cool and just like more complete so yeah next time we do anything there's not going to be any more rushed decisions that was a bit of a rush decision because we were so you know trying to get the bathroom sorted and stuff like that that was like our main priority whereas like we were kind of just doing this because we needed to get the bath up anyway and then we thought i oh, will just do some paneling because that would be really nice as well but overall we should have just done this all in one go so yeah that's our regret but don't worry we're gonna fix it we can always fix anything and we've got loads of time this is our forever home so there's really no rush but we are getting this done this is going to be the first big job of the year i think because we haven't really done an awful lot yet but we're just kind of waiting it out we're just taking our time but the doors have got to go soon and i did get a brochure actually i'll show you in a minute which one we've got so we can like have a little look through together anyway let me know what you think about that and if we should do everything i just think it will look so much nicer if it all follows around at the top because it kind of looks like two different um stairs at the minute doesn't it but i think once that's done at the top oh, it's gonna look just nice complete like the vision we had when we moved in here and like how we really wanted it um so we're just gonna kind of do it right here we go so this is the deanta brochure that we got so we actually got deanta doors in our old house um just a few of them downstairs and we loved them they've got lots of different style doors they've got these kind of modern ones like the big black ones which look really cool these look very similar to our window but it's not really our style for like throughout the whole house i feel like it looks too modern for our house so i think we're going to go with like more of a classic um although i love the look of these i think they look really nice so we're going to go with more of a, tr a traditional door I didn't want to go for oak because I just feel like that's what we're trying to get away from even though I love them because we've got so many doors upstairs I just think it's too much so we're gonna go for white again they do actually have like a, a spray service where you can like have them spray painted they've got like different color options hold on let me get to the page that I need to show you so these are the ones that we had in our old house these are called the Madison and they are really lovely they're just really nice doors very sturdy very solid so they also have this one here which is like a glass part here so we could have this into the kitchen or something like that so i would say those are our first option at the minute and kind of what we're leaning towards but we do have like a few different styles that we like i do really like these as well i feel like this is what would have been in our house although these are the 1930s ones although ours is a 1950s house but i do think they would have had something similar in this house um they've got lots of different doors those are a little bit too um posh for us but yeah they do have this uh service where you can have them colored in any of these colors which i do quite like i like the mist and i also like truffle which is quite nice and um, so yeah we're gonna have to wait just have a little think about what doors we want those are our first choice i did also like the canterbury uh this one's quite nice as well but i'm not too keen on the glass version on that one uh, the Windsor is really nice as well. I've seen a few people with these ones. As you can see, there's like the black version, which would look quite nice in our house as well, like downstairs in the kitchen area. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to go for, but they've got lots of lovely doors in here. I really like them. They did have like a really nice walnut color. Let me find that one actually, hold on. I also love, I love the look of these ones. I wish they did it in a lighter color like more of a i'm not sure i just feel like walnut maybe wouldn't go in our house but i love the style of these doors and i also love i love the style of this door as well i feel like this would be such a nice pantry door don't you think we'll see let me know what you think i feel like there's no point overthinking it and going for just something crazy just to be different i think we should just go with classic what we know what we like yeah deanta i would definitely recommend them the doors were lovely the ones that we got last time and if you're looking for these which are very popular at the minute try deanta we are ordering ours from rgb which is like a building merchant but um yeah look at all the doors there's so many so many doors wowzers i've just come upstairs to put some washing away i've just washed this top which is actually a vintage purchase this is my first time actually buying from vintage and i am really really happy with this i think this is about five or ten pounds i can't remember now but it's by abercrombie as you can see there and i wanted this to wear around the house i just thought i would risk it and see if it was any good and it is so comfortable and so soft i absolutely love it i love the color of it as well so nice 
So I'm really pleased with that. And I also got a Zara blazer. So this is the Zara blazer that I got. And again, I think this was around five or 10 pounds. I think it was around 10 pounds all in. And I'm so pleased with that because I don't really have any blazers at all. And I thought this would be a really good purchase for, you know, if you've got like a wedding to go to and you're wearing like a nice dress, but you need something to put over your shoulders. And I thought for the price, I'm definitely gonna purchase it, but it does need to be washed, obviously. I need to give it like a good iron. I'm gonna give this to my mum, I think, because I feel like she knows best on how to clean this without without ruining it because it's got shoulder pads in there which I don't think you can remove so yeah anyway really pleased with that let me know if you use vintage or if you like buy on there or if you sell on there because I am obsessed with it and I've literally been on there today looking at cricket stuff for the boys because they've got loads of cricket bits loads of sports stuff so I think I'm going to order like an England cricket shirt on there which is like half the price that would be online so I thought that was amazing so yeah, if you're not on vintage definitely check it out so yeah i think i'm gonna leave the vlog there i'm gonna put away all my washing this literally mountain of washing that's almost gonna fall over i'm gonna put all of that away now the boys are nearly home so yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys across the road.